Hi guys, welcome to another tutorial on my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to convert a horizontal video to a vertical video. Or in other words, how to resize your YouTube video, normal widescreen YouTube video to YouTube Shorts, uh, which is in 9 by 16 aspect ratio, easily. Okay, so the software I'm going to use is Filmora 11. By the way, you can use, use the same technique uh, with other video editor available on your computer too. If you want to try Filmora 11, you can download it at the link I put in the description. And for those of you who have a free trial of Filmora and you want to purchase a license, don't forget to use my 20% discount coupon code to save your money. By the way, if you are new here, I am Jackie and I make Filmora tutorial here on YouTube. Consider to subscribe to my channel for more video editing tips uh, with this software. Okay, so let's go to my computer screen. Alright, so here's my computer screen and this is a start page of Filmora 11. So the first thing, in order to create a vertical video, so we need to select an aspect ratio right here first. So uh, let's say uh, you want to make a 9 by 16 aspect ratio video. Just click on this menu, okay, and then you can select this one, 9 by 16 portrait, okay. And then the next thing, you want to create a new project uh, with the software, so I'm going to select this button, new project. And now I'm inside Filmora user interface, so, so the next thing, you want to import your YouTube video or normal widescreen video to the software. So uh, we can just click here to import the footage into the software uh, and another way is to drag and drop the footage into the software. So I'm going to uh, drag and drop uh, from, my, uh, from a folder on my computer. Okay, so this is my intro clip and I'm going to use this one uh, as an example. Just uh, click here and drag and drop it to the project media right here. Okay, so let's close this one. Uh, and cancel proxy because uh, uh, Filmora 11 has a proxy option for those of you who are running uh, running on a low-end computer. By the way, my computer is okay, so I don't have to uh, create a proxy. So I'm going to cancel it. And the next thing, you want to bring this footage onto the timeline uh, by clicking this button, this plus button. Okay. And now you will have two options. The first one is to match to media, meaning that you will convert the project to an, a 16 by 9 aspect ratio video. The, that is not what I'm going to do, okay? So I'm going to keep my project setting because my current project setting is 9 by 16. Uh, then I'm going to click this button on the right side. Just click on that. And now the first solution, we have a small video here right inside the screen. Uh, by the way, because this is a 9 by 16 aspect ratio, so we have a black bar on the top and at the bottom also. So we want to get rid of the black bar here. Uh, we have a very simple solution uh, in Filmora 11. Okay, so first thing, I want to mute the audio first. And the next thing, I want to make a border around my video here. Uh, very easy. All I need to do is to go to the effect tab and then uh, find the utility folder okay so we have uh, here the utility folder uh, where is it it is uh, here okay so this is the utility folder I i'm going to add a border to my video okay so just follow me i'm going to search here border and enter to find a border okay so this is a free border for my uh, my video all, all i need to do is to drag and drop it directly to my video okay so it is, the border is in white color by the way you can change it to different color if you want uh, by clicking the video and then select this property okay so at the property uh, you need to find the effect tab right here and you see this is a border effect and then uh, we can change the color to something else uh, maybe it's all up to you okay at the end point uh, I think this should be okay and you can even adjust the size and the blurriness of the border also uh, if you want okay and adjust the direction of the border uh, of the color here okay and then i'm going to click okay because uh, i'm happy with the border and the next thing if you want to get rid of the black screen right here and here all you need to do is to add a back background blur effect to this video okay so let's uh, let's find the background blur at the filter folder here uh, at the same effect tab okay so go to the filter and find the background blur there you go okay so i have it here 
and now I can select any any background blur effect and apply it to my video and there are two ways to to apply it to your video the first way is to drag and drop it uh, at the top top track here or you can just drag and drop it directly to the video so I'm going to uh, select this one the diamonds and I'm going to put it uh, at the track above the video and we have to uh, get rid of the black uh, screen right here and also remember to extend this uh, effect to the end of the video okay so I'm going to just, just uh, make a short short intro like this very nice right and the next thing if you want to add some text to the uh, to this area on top and at the bottom here because normally they have short video with some text and funny interesting text uh, here okay it is it's also very easy uh, just go to the title tab right here uh, right here okay and then select any title template uh, you want to use or you can just go to the title and find a basic uh, text title and in Filmora 11 you have many paid effect right here if you don't want to see all the paid effect uh, you can just click here at the view option and select free and now you will have all the free template that you can use for your video okay so I'm going to select this one for example uh, no this one this beautiful okay so this beautiful uh, summer uh, let's drag and drop it here and we have a text here and uh, then we want to move the text uh, to this position and this is the uh, this is the, the template if you want to delete it it's also easy but I'm going to uh, keep it and then we can uh, double click at the title and change it to my name for example or reviewer or something like that it's easy right and we want to copy and paste the text right here so I'm going to select the text title and uh, press Ctrl C to copy it and then I'm going to lock this track and this track and this track also and then I'm going to paste it and put it right here and the next thing we want to select the text here on the top and then move it to the bottom and say hello okay and here's your short video very nice right and remember to make it uh, one minute uh, or less than one minute because uh, YouTube short is normally uh, only one minute in vertical format okay and this is the first way to uh, convert you and there is another way to resize your widescreen video to a vertical video by using the crop function in the program for example I'm going to use the crop to fit function for this part yeah, the first thing I want to uh, split the clip uh, at this position okay so this uh, this part at uh, this part of the video it just have a border and now uh, what I'm going to do is to select the clip here on the timeline and then uh, click this button or I can just uh, right click at the video and then select uh, video property here and then select crop to fit okay so it will be like something like this very interesting right but you want to adjust the crop area to the center of the uh, of the screen so we can select the video and then select the crop function right here and then uh, we can adjust the crop area to this side and then we can click OK and by doing that we have just created a new vertical video uh, in full screen I mean vertically okay alright so that is a simple way to recite your YouTube video to a YouTube short video uh, vert in vertical format and actually in Filmora 11 we have another useful function which is auto reframe it also help you convert a widescreen video to a vertical video easily and automatically with some artificial intelligence and motion tracking by the way if you want to learn about that uh, feature let's click the link uh, I will put at the corner of the video alright I hope this tutorial is helpful for you if you have any more questions just let me know in the comment section below and remember to export the video also and if you want to learn more about Filmora tips and tricks and stuff like that don't forget to subscribe to my channel thank you very much for watching and I will see you in my next video bye bye